Good morning to all of our sojourners. Today is the first Sunday of this month of July. We are passed through the half of the year. Praise the Lord for He has faithfully sustained us throughout this year, especially through this, um, uh, through all of this uh, um, COVID-19 pandemic that we are in. Praise the Lord that we are here together once again today to worship Him and to praise Him. And so as we start our worship service this morning, let us come to the Lord and let us recite the statement of our faith to begin our worship service. All together, let us recite. You can unmute your microphone, no problem. And together, let us recite the Apostles' Creed. All together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He descended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy universal church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us worship the Lord and sing some praise songs to Him. It's okay. You can mute. You, you can. Uh, you can unmute your microphone. No problem. I'm just gonna put my volume down here so that it won't get any feedback. You can sing with me, and you can uh, unmute your microphone. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let us sing our first song for today: Desert Song. Desert, desert, desert. This is my prayer. This is my prayer in the desert when all that's within me feels dry. This is my prayer in my hunger and need. My God is the God who provides. This is my prayer in the fire, in weakness or trial or pain. There is a faith proof of more worth than gold, so refine me, Lord, through the flame. I will bring praise, I will bring praise. No effort forth against me shall remain. I will rejoice, I will declare, God is my victory and he is. My prayer in the battle. This is my prayer in the battle when triumph is still on its way. I am a conqueror and go where with Christ and fear on his promise I'll stand. I will bring praise, I will bring praise. No weapon formed against me shall remain. I will rejoice, I will declare, God is my victory and he is in. This is my prayer. This is my prayer in the harvest, when favor and providence flow. 
I know I'm feel to be emptied again. The seed I receive, I will sow. I will bring praise. I will bring praise. I will bring praise. No weapon formed against me shall remain. I will rejoice. I will declare. God is my victory and he is in. All of my life, in every season, let's sing this. All of my life, in every season, you are still God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. With all of your hearts. Sing this one more time. All of my life, in every season, you are the God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. Well, sing with me. All of my life, all of my life, in every season, you are the God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. I will bring praise. I will bring praise. I will bring praise. No weapon for against me shall remain. I will rejoice. I will declare. God is my victory in me. I will bring praise. I will bring praise. I will bring praise. No weapon for against me. I will declare, as I will declare, God is my victory and he is him. God is my victory and he, God is my victory, God is my victory and he is him. Amen. Let's continue to worship the Lord. The next song that we are going to sing is about our Father who is with us, our Maker who is who formed our heart. And yes, throughout these sufferings and hardships that we are going through, remember that He knows our name and He is with us at this very moment. Let us worship the Lord. a maker I have a maker for oh my she for my heart before even time began my life is in his head take it one more time I have a maker. I have a maker. He for my heart. Yes, before even time began. Before even time began. My life is in his hand. Sing with me. He knows my name. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls. And he hears me when. I call I have a father I have a father 
Jesus. He calls me his own. He calls me his own. He'll never leave me. He'll never leave me. Yes, Lord. No man. Let's sing this song one more time. I have, I have a father. With all of our hearts, let's sing this. I have a father. He calls me his own. He calls me his own. And he'll never leave me. He'll never leave me. No matter where I go. Because he knows, he knows my name. He knows my name. He knows my name. And he hears me with Let's worship him. We know. Maria will lead us in our opening prayer. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we are before you, Lord, before, before your throne of grace and mercy. And Father God, we bow down before, and before you and worship you. We know, Lord, that the one who seeks you with all of his heart finds you because you reveal yourself to him. Father God in heaven, we pray that you will show yourself to us, Lord, through your word. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will ready our hearts to be stirred again and again by your living word. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will help us um, uh, be sincere, examine ourselves, and Lord, um, have the courage and faith to pour out our burdens before you father god in heaven we pray that um lord we uh, everything we have learned until now and we will learn about you lord we will be able to put into practice and live father god your word is um it's not in vain but your word is powerful and lord your word teaches us and provides us with everything we need for our lives and for 
for godly lives. Father God, we, uh, we desire to see you, Lord, to see your um, work in this world. And uh, Lord, to see you uh, manifest yourself, Lord, in our lives and Lord, in the lives of those near us. Father God, we know that the, the, the day of your coming is near and Lord, we want to prepare ourselves and be ready, Lord. Be ready um, uh, in every season to, to give an account of the hope that is within us. Father God, we pray for those who are weak and under trial. Um, we pray, Lord, that you will encourage and strengthen. We pray, Lord, for those who are uh, in physical pain. Lord, we pray for Elder John and we pray for Jed. And Lord, we pray for others who have other chronic sicknesses. And um, Lord, they, they are not even maybe sharing with us. But Lord, in your, um, with you, everything is known. And um, uh, Father God, we pray that you will strengthen and encourage and uh, comfort. And Lord, you will um, um, help our brothers and sisters overcome any trial. Father God, in you and through you, we are more than conquerors. We bow down before you, Lord, and we submit ourselves to you, Lord. And Lord, um, we rejoice in your presence. Father God in heaven, may your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, let's go to the word of the Lord this morning. And for our scripture reading, it will be found in the same passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, but this time we are going to read from verse 16 to verse 18. I would say that again. We would read from verse 16 to verse 18. I would like to ask everybody to unmute your microphone and uh, let us read this together in unison. Let us together read 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 16 to 18. Let's read together. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on our what we seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Amen. The word of the Lord for all of us this morning. Again, we are still on our sermon series. On this passage from 2 Corinthians chapter 4 that talks about Christian suffering or enduring suffering. And um, last Sunday, we have learned from the second part of this passage, chapter 4, verse uh, 7 to 18, particularly on that uh, verse 13 to 15, we've learned the second part of this passage. That in all this suffering that we are in or we are going through, even in the future suffering, we have learned last week that we have hope. Okay? There is hope in Christian suffering. We have learned that the foundation of our hope is in the resurrected Christ. The, 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 the completion of our hope is in our coming resurrection. And that lastly, we've learned last Sunday that the manifestation or the demonstration of our hope is the profession of our faith. 
Now, this morning, brothers and sisters, we learn from the last part. We will learn from the last part of our passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 7 to 18. And we will learn the encouragement during Christian suffering. This is what we're going to learn this morning. And that in your suffering, you need to be encouraged. I'm going to say that again. In your suffering, be encouraged. This is what we're going to learn today. And so do not, do not lose heart. Okay? Because your suffering is temporary. We need to look into eternity. This is the message of the Lord that we are going to meditate upon <clears throat> this morning. First, if we go back to our passage, especially in verse 16, this is what we're going to learn. Do not lose heart. This is what it says. Do not lose heart. If you turn with me in verse 16, what does it say in verse 16? Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. That is what our passage tells us. You see, serving the Lord is physically tiring, but it constantly restores the inner man. This is what the, this is what the verse means. There is a big encouragement for us here in this verse who are all going through suffering. <clears throat> yes, <clears throat> sufferings and hardships in Christian life are physically tiring, but inside, what does it say? Inside, we are always strong. You know why? Because inside, there is God with us. He is our Emmanuel through the person of the Holy Spirit. He is in us, and He is giving us spiritual renewal day by day. Yes, we may feel tired outside. We may feel tired outside. But it is through the Holy Spirit who is in us. It is through our Emmanuel, God with us, that we get the physical strength that we need to endure hardships and sufferings. You see, this passage mainly speaks about Christian service. As we know that uh, Paul is writing to the church in the Corinth. And there are a lot of problems in the church of Corinth. And one of the things that Paul wants to remind the uh, Christians in Corinth is that, you see, in our service, in our Christian service, it can be very, very tiring. Not only in our Christian life, but specifically in our Christian service, as we serve the Lord, as we walk through this uh, journey, it can be very, very tough. <clears throat> It is impossible for a Christian to get worn out or get worn spiritually if he is really serving Christ. Yes, suffering may, be, may take its stall on the body of Christian, on the body of a Christian. But inside us, okay, our inner being is constantly being restored and renewed as a result. And so that's why even though we are surrounded, even we are going through very difficult times, we can still find strength because our strength comes from within. It comes from inside. We may go to a we may go to a same suffering just like other people around us, but the difference is that for us who have Jesus in our us in our hearts, for us who have God, our Emmanuel, who is with us. We are different from them because we can always find peace and joy. We can always find strength. So we do not lose heart, brothers and sisters. In our suffering, be encouraged. In our suffering, we should not lose heart because inside us, we are being renewed. Inside us, we can always find strength to go through all this suffering. Everybody say amen. In your suffering, be encouraged. Do not lose heart. Because your suffering is temporary. And this is what we're going to learn next. The second thing that we can learn is that all suffering is temporary. That's what we're going to learn next. And we can find that in verse 17. 
What does it say in verse 17? It says there, for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. What is the meaning of this verse? What is Paul trying to tell us? He's saying that suffering is light compared to a Christian's eternal glory. What we're going to experience at the end of this, all of the suffering is so much more compared to the suffering that we are experiencing right now. These sufferings that we are all going through are just for a moment. They are all temporary. And they are very little or light compared to the life in eternity that we have in Jesus when we receive his promise uh, to, to all his followers. Everybody say amen. And so this verse is telling us very clearly that suffering is temporary compared to eternal glory. I cannot imagine, brothers and sisters, if we have to suffer for eternity. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine suffering for eternity? But praise the Lord, we will not suffer for eternity. Um, but instead, we are going to experience glory. We will experience victory in eternity as soon as we achieve that in heaven with God. And so that's why, praise the Lord, we will, we will not suffer for eternity. But I cannot imagine, you know, if we suffer for eternity, especially suffering eternity in hell, and you see, there are people who are going to suffer eternity, those who don't know Jesus and those who don't accept Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. But praise God, for he sent his son Jesus to save us and will surely bring us to his eternal glory where there will be no more sufferings. Everybody say amen. And so be encouraged, dear brothers and sisters. All these troubles we are facing is soon going to pass. Amen. Amen. And so in your suffering, brothers and sisters, be encouraged. Do not lose heart because your suffering is temporary. So what do we need to do? We need to look into eternity. And this is, this is how, how will I, I, I end my sermon this morning for all of us. We need to look into eternity. Dear Sojourners, yes, in this time of global pandemic where troubles and sufferings are everywhere it is very easy to lose heart and be discouraged continuing our walk and service in the lord is very challenging for most of us it's tough it's tiring and it's overwhelming but what this verse 18 says what does verse 18 says to us the last verse in our passage it says so we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. This is the key, brothers and sisters. Fixing our eyes on the eternal things. Fixing our eyes on Jesus. This is what it means. Fixing our eyes on the eternal. Never lose sight of your eternal destiny in Christ. Focusing your eyes on things eternal. What does it say? If you have a Bible with you, open it on, on Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. What does it mean? What does it say in Colossians chapter 3, verse 2? It says, set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on on earth. This is what it says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Set your minds on things above. That's what it says. Things that are heavenly, things that are godly. We need to focus our eyes there. Read your Bible, pray, fast, desire for the fruits of the Spirit. Practice love, practice joy, peace, patience, kindness. Things above. This is what it says. 
Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, Paul says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, Finally, brothers, whatever is commendable, whatever is lovely, if there is any excellent, if there is any worthy of praise, think about these things. These are the godly things. These are the heavenly things. This is us focusing our eyes on Jesus. This is the same from what we've learned from our previous sermon series on Matthew chapter 4. What does it say? In Matthew chapter 4, we've learned that the secret of not sinking, the secret of not losing the way in this life that is full of tribulations, the secret of not being afraid is what? Fixing our eyes on Jesus. Amen. And so this is the message of the Lord for all of us. Yes, God never promised smooth sailing. We need to go to, the, to, to walk through this road of Calvary. And as Christians, we have to go through all these sufferings in our earthly life, just like what Jesus has experienced. But you see, you already know how the story will end. Or should I say, the story will never end. But yes, we are sure that at the end of all these kinds of trials, hardships, and pain, there is victory. Everybody say amen. There is the amen. promised land that awaits us all. And so as we sojourn, as we journey through this short life here on earth where sufferings is temporary, God tells us. And right now, he's speaking to us. Do not be discouraged, for I am with you, and I will carry you through. God tells us. I will deliver you from all these sufferings. Do you believe that, brothers and sisters? Do you believe. believe that, sojourners? In your suffering, brothers and sisters, be encouraged. And I want us to read this all together. I want you to turn your eyes on the screen. And let's read this all together, brothers and sisters. So I'm going to ask you to unmute your microphone. Don't worry. This time we can unmute your microphone. And we can read this all together. All together in unison, let us read this. In my suffering, be encouraged. Do not lose heart because my suffering is temporary. I must look into Jesus. This is the word of the Lord for all of us this morning. And I hope this will grow in our hearts and this will forever be part of our lives and our journey here on earth. Be encouraged in your suffering, sojourners. Do not lose heart because our suffering is temporary. We must look into Jesus. The word of the Lord for all of us this morning. And all the people of God say, Amen, Amen, Amen. 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 For our closing song, let us sing, We Will Keep Our Faith Alive. Let us sing this all together for our closing song. Gathered here, <laughs> gathered here within this place, we can share in God's love. Yes, sing with me. Without our fear, we can feel His presence as we face this statues. We will serve and honor and obey. And if we should start today, we will know our trust is in Him. And we will keep our faith alive. God will always be our guide. The dark is night, we will see God's light. We will keep our faith alive. We will keep and we will keep our faith alive. God will always be our guide. Through the dark 
this night we will see God's light. Right. We will we keep our, our praise for Let's come to the Lord. Let's pray. Let us receive the benediction. Father God, we thank you for this message of hope that we find, encouragement that we can find in this suffering that we are all going through in this life. Thank you, Lord, because, Father, we do not lose heart because you renew and you give us strength from within. Thank you for reminding us, O oh Lord, that indeed, Father, all these sufferings are but temporary but you are eternal and what awaits us father god at the end of all this suffering is your eternal glory eternity where there will be no more pain and suffering we thank you lord indeed father through your word this morning you encouraged us help us father god and all of our sojourners lord all of our members to look into eternity help us to just focus our eyes on you not only for today, but for the rest of our Christian life. We love you, Lord, and we give you glory. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the fellowship, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be upon us all, now and forevermore. And all the people of God say, Amen, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That ends our worship service this morning. Let us have some catching up before we say goodbye to one another. How are you? Do you have any news about uh, last week? Uh, two days ago, we received a message from Brother Jed, huh? Do you have any news about him? Let's continue to pray for Brother Jed as he struggles with this health it's really difficult for him it's tough there are a lot of complications happening in his body right now and he's just he's just really sick and so i think his contract will end this uh october if i'm not mistaken but uh i think he really needs to he really needs to somehow take a good rest a long rest and i'm i'm, I'm advising him to somehow you know it's better for you to go back home for a while and then when he gets well, he can always come back in Korea. But let's continue to pray for Brother Jed. How is everybody doing, brothers and sisters? Yeah. Uka is here with us. Oh, and uh, Lala is here with us today. Lala, you can unmute your microphone. Don't worry. We, we want to hear your voice. Thank you. I think Lala is coming from, uh, from her hometown. And he yeah, stayed in yeah. yeah she stayed there for a month yeah they stayed by camp oh okay. that's right welcome back lala we missed you <laughs> <laughs> how is mj yeah still alive <laughs> praise <laughs> the lord yes <laughs> still alive <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's also right. pray for Inatoli because on July 10th, that's the D-Day for Inatoli. God bless you, sister. <laughs> um, today, I guess, the children will the children ministry will resume their worship services in the church. I think it already started. 10 o'clock, they started for the children. It's really complicated. Okay, I didn't see, I didn't see, I didn't notice that our time is almost over. But anyway, <laughs> I hope everybody's okay. And uh, 
Yes. Uh, let's just. Oh, uh, since everybody is here, especially the English ministers, um, I forgot to tell you last uh, last Wednesday or last uh, last uh, Thursday. Come on, unmute yourself. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I just want to I just want to uh, tell an important in- announcement for our English ministers who are here. We have Tolly, Maria, and. Uh, uh, Kupuka, <laughs> Kupuka. <laughs> that uh, on Tuesday, I think we're gonna have a meeting in the church, and we are going to talk about our plans for summer camp. I don't know how we are, how are we going to plan for a summer camp, but on Tuesday we are going to have like more like of a half day or whole day of prayer and planning for the summer camp for our ministries for all the ministries of the church, and so. Um, yeah, for all the ministries, all ministers, yeah, all ministers will be there. Um, so I don't know where in the church, but uh, most probably it will be in the basement, uh, in the basement uh, worship hall of the main church. So if you can prepare, and we need to be there, all of us, the English ministers. So you, what time? Uh, I'm gonna confirm. I'm gonna ask what time, but it will be in Tuesday. And so I will. I'm gonna tell you quick today. I'm gonna ask Pastor Paul what time, but we need to prepare some kind of um, some kind of a report or a plan uh, of um, uh, about our summer camp. I don't know how it's gonna happen for us, Sojourn Fellowship. They can just. What do you think? <laughs> but. Um, Probably it's going to be more like for the Sojourn Fellowship. Um, maybe it's going to be more like a Zoom meeting. More Zoom meeting. Because mm-hmm. I don't think... We can we can meet in the park, but I don't... I think it's going to be complicated. We will talk about this on Tuesday. If we can meet in the church. Yeah, because uh, I think for sojourners we can meet in the park because we're few. Uh, yeah, we're uh, few. Right, so we're not gonna but, be but, more than. But, but before that, I have checked with the, the deacon chair. Yes, please. Yes. Get approval to yeah. gather. Uh huh. So. Uh huh. It's like it's like it's gonna be a really simple fellowship, you know, because for a long time we have we haven't met, yeah. So probably the summer yeah. for us is just a two or three hour meeting fellowship for the sojourners. I think that will be okay. That will be nice. Yeah. I guess for the children, I don't know their plan, but for Maria, uh, for their children ministry, English ministry, I guess they're gonna go for like a bi- uh, VBS. Probably we'll just need to discuss with our ministry directors, Tony Ato. Um, and see, I, I have no idea whether we can go somewhere like we did in the past. Probably not, I'm thinking, but at least um, we should meet in the church, right? Um, for us, for the children and the preteen. And... But just like what they're doing right now as they resume the children ministry, they don't ask all the children to come at once. They have schedule. Am I right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's so right. Probably so now this, yeah. yeah. So probably for this English uh, English camp, I think uh, they should, especially for the children, for the little children, I think there should be an adjust. There must be an adjustment that needs to be made. But anyway, uh, let's continue to pray for this. On Tuesday, we're going to talk about this. On what's gonna be the setup or the allowed setup for the English ministry, and so that will be it for uh, for today. Thank you very much for coming online. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Let's continue to pray for Jed. Okay, I'm really worried about him, but I don't think we can really go and visit him in the hospital if ever. Mm. But um, I hope you can uh, personally send him a message and encourage him. It's really tough and it's difficult for him. For others, uh, I will try to somehow connect with them. But yeah, I'm just so happy that you are here with me, Tolly, Ato, Dick and Jess. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
No problem. God bless you all. We'll see you later. Yeah, thank you. God bless you. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Kupuka. Kupuka, bye. <laughs> You're not smiling, Kupuka. What's happening to you? You just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> not in a smiling mood. Why are you not talking, Kupuka? You're very talkative and you're not talking to us right now, huh? Hmm? So say something. We want to see Kupuka. Oh, me? Yes, say something. Then we'll see Kupuka. We can't see him. You can't see him? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. He's growing so big. You know high five, Kupuka?